A queen versus pawn ending is usually easily winning for the queen, but it isn't always so simple. The farther the pawn advances, the more problems the queen has to solve. The simplest way for the queen to end complications is by blocking the promotion square for the pawn. With a black pawn on the third rank, can you see how white's queen can move to the promotion square by force? If you found queen a6 check, great job. The queen checks black's king, and after it moves, white's queen blockades the promotion square with queen f1. White's king will simply march up the board and help the queen capture the pawn. If the pawn is able to make it to the second rank without the queen being able to blockade the promotion square, we enter an interesting endgame where the pawn has chances to draw. Knowing this endgame will allow you to win most positions easily, and it will also give you a chance to draw against the powerful queen. Let's take a look. In this position, black's pawn is just one move away from promoting. White must play precisely to win this endgame. The first step is to force black's king in front of the pawn, which will gain a tempo to bring white's king closer to the action. White begins the path to victory by playing queen e3 check. Attacking the pawn, which forces black's king to block the promotion square with king d1. Now that black isn't threatening to promote on the next move, white brings the king closer to the pawn with king e6. Since king c1 would pin the pawn to black's king, the only way to threaten to promote the pawn is by playing king c2. White now pins the pawn to the king with queen e2. If black moves the king to c3, then white wins easily by blockading the promotion square with queen d1. This means black's only try is king c1. Since queen e3 and king c2 would be repeating moves, it is important to attack black's king with queen c4 check. Black is forced to either block the pawn with king d1 or separate the king from the pawn with king b1. White needs to force black's king in front of the pawn again, so white uses a double attack with queen d3 check. Checking black's king and attacking the pawn. After king c1, white forces the king in front of the pawn again with queen c3 check. After king d1, White's king gains another tempo to move forward with king d5. After king e2, white repeats the same process. When black's king moves to the same rank as the pawn, the first step is to pin the pawn to the king with queen c2. After king e1, can you remember the important move to force black's king to either move in front of the pawn or give up its protection of the pawn? That's right, with queen e4 check. Since moving the king in front of the pawn only helps white, black's best try is to move away from the pawn with king f2. White prevents black from promoting and attacks the pawn with queen d3, forcing black to play king e1. Once again, white forces the king in front of the pawn with queen e3 check. And after king d1, king d4, king c2, now that white's king is connected with the queen, white can play queen c3 check, forcing the king in front of the pawn with king d1. When after king e3, white captures the pawn and delivers checkmate in a couple of moves. There are two situations when the side with the pawn can draw the game using a stalemate trick. If the pawn is a rook pawn, meaning a pawn on the a file or h file, and the promotion square is not blocked by the queen, the game is usually a draw. After queen b3 check, black's king blocks the pawn with king a1. But white cannot move the king closer to the action because black would be stalemated. After queen d1 check, king b2, queen d2 check, king b1, white cannot make any progress because black is either threatening to promote the pawn or will be stalemated. If the pawn is a bishop pawn, meaning a pawn on the C or F files, the side with the pawn has good drawing chances. Black is prepared to promote, and after queen b3 check, it appears black is forced to block the pawn's promotion square with the king, but black has the clever defense, king a1. Abandoning the pawn, because if white captures the pawn, it is stalemate. Once again, black is able to hold the balance by threatening to promote the pawn or set up a stalemate. 
Just because you have a rook or a bishop pawn one square away from promotion, it doesn't always mean the draw is guaranteed. If the side with the queen has a king that is close enough to the pawn, the game may still be lost. In this position, after black attempts the stalemate trick with king h1, white can win after queen f3 check, forcing king g1, white allows black to promote after king g3, and f1 equals queen. If white's queen can move to h2, it would be checkmate. Can you see how white can force this to happen? After queen e3 check, black's queen cannot safely block the check, so after king h1, white's queen moves to the h-file with queen h6 check, forcing checkmate after king g1, queen h2, checkmate. Now that you've learned both how to win, and at times draw the queen versus advanced pawn ending, it's time to show your endgame skills.